Welcome back to Grizzlies Warriors. You know, Mark Jackson showed film at the top of our broadcast here of the way Golden State was sagging off John Morant when they played this weekend. Well, guess what? John Morant saw the same film, too, and he told us he was not going to change his approach. He said, I just have to shoot with confidence. I believe in myself 100%, he told us. I can't control how teams play me, so I am going out there tonight to just play my game. And he said, I've got all the confidence in the world. Certainly, we've seen that so far tonight. Now, there was a little social media back and forth between John Morant and Steph Curry, but at the end of that game Sunday, guys, the two of them shook hands, and Steph actually said in Ja's ear, you guys go handle business, and let's run it back in the end of the play-in. And guess what? Here they are, Mike. Well, so far, running it back has not been good for Golden State. They turn it over again. It's already four turnovers. And why would they want to run it back? They could have beaten the Lakers and avoided a game here against a very worthy opponent. Dylan Brooks. Knocks it down once and that one. They're seven for seven to start. You know, they had that unbelievable start against San Antonio. Went up by 21 in the first quarter. As Curry... Up and you'll see deflected out of bounds. It's still Golden State ball. Now the officials are going to confer and discuss. Some of the Grizzlies have already gone down the other end of the court. But they're going to have to come back and play defense. There's Taylor Jenkins, their head coach. Come on, guys, get back. No, that was a missed call. Yeah, that should have been a Memphis call. So James Williams overruled and was wrong. You don't want to overrule and be wrong. Make more drives than a blocking foul on Valanciunas. And that's two on Valanciunas, and obviously he's a key player. You guys talked about at the top of the telecast how well he's been playing, but just overall, he's kind of in some ways gone under the radar and having a terrific season. Mike, I mean, he's a dominant rebounder. He's a low post scorer. He's got Excuse great me. hands in the pick and roll, running it with Morant. So he is. He's a very good player now. And he's had a, a big time production recently in these must win type of games. Well, he's going to sit down with the two fouls. Third in the NBA in rebounding, second in offensive rebounding. Third in double doubles, Desmond Bain, the rookie from TCU, who has been a terrific pickup and has played some big moments and had some good games for him. He's in the game. Very interesting. They don't go with the center. They downsize and play smaller. Baron Jackson, a good three-point shooter. Again, still working his way back after tearing up his knee in last year's bubble. This is that one. Curry gets inside. And the layup for his first field goal. Good adjustment by Curry. Kept the ball live, got to the paint, and attacked. Had his mind made up that he wanted to get a deuce. Kyle Anderson drives past Curry and got bumped. A little take it out of bounds. The Grizzlies doing a good job of making him see bodies, but he keeps the dribble live, uses that fake at the three-point line, gets to his spot, elevates. Every time we see Steph Curry finish like this, he wanted that deuce. He was trying to fake that dunk. But that was a dunk. Morant the ball fake. Anderson looking for Jaron Jackson goes against Looney. Quick move. In and out. Baseball of the rebound. There's Wiggins. Wiggins is second leading scorer. All season long. Gets a nice feed inside. Draymond Green shot won't go down. It's a good play by Kyle Anderson, getting back to Looney, not giving up the law, forcing Green to take the shot. Wiggins is guarding Morant. Wiggins has had a terrific year defensively. Morant using the left hand high off the glass. Draymond Green kicks it out in the corner. Bazemore inside. Double clutch, can't get it to fall. Again, these Grizzlies like to push the more in the NBA and fast break opportunities as Bazemore swats it out of bounds. And this is a terrific chase down block. Good job by Looney not letting him get directly to the rim. And terrific recovery to block it. Well, Bazemore in the starting lineup. No Kelly Oubre, obviously no Clay Thompson. Oubre still a ways away from returning. They lost their rookie center, James Wiseman, as well. But well, Baseball has filled in well in the starting lineup. Juan 
Toscano Anderson in the game. Garden, nice move from Pop Moran. And lays it up at him. He's off to an excellent start. Ten points already. And we're just halfway through the first quarter. That's a great step through the moves that so many guards now have that you used to see more in the low post. Now perimeter players are doing it after they pick up the dribble. It's really good footwork by Moran. He goes hard. He stops. He steps through. That, that's beautiful. Brooks picks up his first foul. That was before the shot attempt by Curry. Toscano Anderson gets a good look. His shot misses. Rebound Moran. And Moran just 21 years old. Rookie of the year last year. So much responsibility for a young player. As Rachel talked about, that's great leadership abilities. Brooks misses. Kyle Anderson, the foul, and it's good. There's the veteran on his playoff years with San Antonio, one of the few Grizzlies that had a lot of playoff experience. Or he's getting hurt on the offensive boards. Good job by the Grizzlies chasing down second shot. Curry's three-pointer. Oh! Toscano Anderson throws it down on the follow. Wow. The Oakland native who has become such an enormous fan favorite of this Warriors fan base. He was one himself when he was a kid growing up in the Bay Area. Moran again. At that time, ball deflected out of bounds. And it's going to the state ball. See Anderson get to the paint area, attacking the offensive boards. That's a big time finish off the missed Steph Curry shot. But look at the way he catches it all the way back. The ability to finish emphatically. Well, Steve Kerr playing him a lot of minutes. He's only played eight in the last couple of games as short of rotation. That's one of the reasons they finished so well at the end of the regular season. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Morant. And nine to shoot. And Toscano Anderson has been a big part of that bench play. And we said it the other night. You know, he's got great energy, great spirit. But he's so much more than that. He's very skilled and a very smart player. Jordan Poole is also in for Golden State. Curry leans in. Scoop layup comes up short. Xavier Tillman with the rebound. Taylor Jenkins using a lot of his young players early. And as Bain lost it out of bounds, good pressure from Poole. So Bain and Tillman, a couple of rookies out there in an elimination game. I just love the way Brooks is playing Curry as they turn it over again. No help responsibilities. And Moran fouled on the pass. Can, shot at that won't happen. Can I throw a fit right now on that take foul yes. and us allowing that in the NBA? What, what is that? What is that? I'm shocked because you never ask, can you throw a fit? You just normally just freestyle and throw a fit. <laughs> You're mellowing as you get older. We need to eradicate that, please. 